Hey guys, I'm going to show you guys how to make this fun little game. It's a ball toss paddle ball thing. I don't know what it's called. Um, but we're going to make it. The idea is that you're going to swing it over and the ball is going to come swooping around and you try to land it in one of these holes. We're going to start with this board here. This is a cedar board uh, for a fence. When you're doing this, make sure it's a soft wood that you're using. I'm just going to freehand a paddle on here. It can look however you want. It could be wide like this, and we're going to put holes in it wherever we want. There's a knot right here. The knot is where tree branch was coming out of, out of the tree. Avoid that. Don't try to cut through that. So from here, I'm going to make a handle, and then I'm going to branch out and create the paddle portion of it. Pro tip. Whatever the edge of your paddle is going to be, if your paddle is going to be that wide, where it's going to be catching the ball for this, move it up here so you have a straight edge here. That's going to eliminate one straight cut that you have to make and make the project a little bit easier here. So I'm going to use this straight edge here. and. There we go. So we have our basic paddle shape here. Um, the ball that I'm going to be using Make sure your paddle's big enough so that when you drill the hole, it won't go over the edge. So I'm going to drill a couple holes in here, kind of mark the center point right about there, and then a hole right about here. We'll do three holes for this paddle. You can do as many holes as you want. You can make this paddle 12 feet long, work on your kids' forearms. Before I cut this out, I want to drill these holes because it's going to be, this board's going to be the strongest while it's together. I'm using a Forstner bit. This is an inch and a half Forstner bit. What I'm going for is I want it to be not quite as big as the ball. The idea is that the ball can get in there and it will want to stay in there. If this was bigger than the ball, the ball would fall through. If the hole is too small, then it won't want to stay in that hole. Safety glasses. We're just gonna put it right on that mark. Make sure to clamp your piece of wood down. Anytime you're going to drill through the wood, make sure you have a board underneath it, otherwise you're going to mess up your table. Move on to the next one. So now we have this. Let's go ahead and get this cut out and cleaned up. So I clamped the paddle to the edge of the table. Using our coping saw, we're going to go ahead and cut this down. Let's flip it, cut this section. There we go. We have our paddle and it's roughed out, but there's a lot of splinters on it. This wood's really soft, so we're just gonna take a second to sand it. This is 150 grit sandpaper. We're gonna lay it on a flat surface like this. Take our paddle, lay it on top of it. It sands so fast. This, this cedar sands so, so fast. So you can take out all those imperfections, get rid of anything that might give them splinters. Now you can see this is where we, did, we didn't cut it. This was the edge of the board. It's perfect. We don't need to do anything to it. Another thing you can do is you can get a piece of wood. You can wrap your sandpaper around it, and now you have a sanding block. That's going to allow you to get to sections. So once you've sanded all these edges down and they're nice, make sure to round the edges and sand, give the top and the bottom a little bit of a sanding. To round the edges, I'm gonna fold my sandpaper over, hold it in the edge. It doesn't take a lot. You just want it so that you're not gonna get splinters from those edges. Don't forget to sand around in there, otherwise it could give you little splinters. There we go, now we got our paddle. Let's drill a hole and let's get this ball on. The drill that you're gonna use is gonna depend on the thickness of the core that you're gonna use to attach the ball. I'm using a 3 16 inch drill bit here. And I am gonna mark where I want it. I'm gonna drill a hole right there. I'm gonna put it on a piece of scrap wood that I have right here. Put my drill bit right on top of it. And drill all the way through it. I have a Kong ball here, it's a little tennis ball. I think it 
it squeaks, it's for dogs. We're going to put a hole in here. I'm gonna make a hole to put the string inside there. I'm gonna use the same drill bit I used on the paddle. I'm gonna hold the ball in a clamp. That's gonna keep my hands nice and safe. If I ever tried to do this, that would be crazy talk. It's held in there, not super tight. Now I'm just gonna put the drill on it. Here we go. Now we have a hole that we can get that string through. We're gonna take the string, we're gonna tie a knot. Just like that. Now we're gonna shove this through here. It's a little bit tricky. Oh, wooden stick here is gonna help me. There we go. So now that's on there. Now it, you could pull it off, but we're not going to. From here, we gotta decide how long we want that rope to be. I'm gonna say right about here. Cut that off. We're gonna go from the top down through here. I'm gonna tie it up. There we go. There you go, this is a fun little, little paddle you can make.